Hi kids! Today we're going to be drawing three different characters. We're going to be drawing the characters the good egg, the bad seed, and the cool bean from the um, books by Jory John and Pete Oswald. The first thing I'm going to do with my paper is I'm going to split it into thirds, three different um, pieces. So the, what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to fold it over on itself so that this edge goes to this corner. And you can take your time and kind of be careful or ask an adult to help you. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's okay if it's a little bit off center, but you want the sides and sections to be, you know, as equal as possible. So once you do that, you just push it down to give it a crease. I'm gonna open it back up. You can see I've got my three sections here. Once I have my three sections, then I'm going to start in my middle section first. And I think the first character that I'm going to try to draw is the cool bean because he's kind of the hardest shape. So I'd like to get that one over with. So working within these lines right here, these are my different sections. The cool beans shape is almost like a spade. It's got kind of this point at the top and then it comes out nice and wide, a little bit of a bump there. Then I'm actually just gonna go back up to my top point. Come out and go back up to that bump. I'm going to go over it again because so I did it really lightly the first time in case I made a mistake. Just going back over it. There we go. So now that I have that part, I'm going to draw his little kind of almost like hair in the center. So that's like a V, a really thin V shape. So I'm going to go off to the side a little bit and come down. Other side, come down. See how that just looks like a uppercase V? And then he's got some little hair tufts up here. So I'll just do shoop, 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 shoop. There we go, there's his, ha his hair. And then we're gonna wanna do his eyes. A lot of these characters have eyes kind of lower on their body. so. Do nice big circle over here. And then we'll go to the other side and try to make it about the same size here. Okay, so I've got his two eyes. I'm gonna do his eyebrows. Just the same. If you can't get it exactly on, exactly the same, no worries, just do your best. His mouth is like right in between his eyes. Go, and he's got a little tongue like that. Then we've got to put some pupils in his eyes. And draw smaller dots, and these dots we're gonna actually end up coloring in, but I'm gonna use my colored pencils for that, so I'm gonna wait. So I've got his pupils. Now we need to draw his limbs. So he's got thin little stick figure legs, like that. And then he's got arms, but the arms, you can do two ways. You can either do arms just going down straight like that, um, or you can draw arms that are holding his bow tie. I think for this time, I'm just gonna do arms going straight out. go and then we gotta do his bow tie so we drew a, a circle in the middle and then we go out and we're doing kind of um, trapezoids on the side of that circle here we go 
a little crease. All right, there we go. That's our character of the seed. So the next step is you've got to color it in. I don't really have a tan, so I'm just going to use a yellow for now. So color in his body yellow. I think he's supposed to be like a little chickpea bean, so um, that's why he's like a tan color. If you have a tan or beige colored pencil or marker or crayon, that would definitely be best to use. I just know I don't have that, so I'm using what I've got. It goes a little, if you're using a colored pencil, it goes a little bit faster if you use the side. Like hold it sideways like I am instead of just going straight up and down. Get in there under the bow tie just a little bit. This would be a really good time if you need to catch up on your drawing. So just pause the video and wait or you could always just draw the outlines like I do and then after the video you can color it however you want you don't have to do the coloring just like I do okay it's kind of hard to see my color so I'm just gonna there we go now you can see it just a little bit better okay so his little hairline here is a little bit darker so I'm gonna see if I can just you lightly use my brown just to show kind of the difference I'm gonna combine the two do a little bit of yellow and I'll do a little bit of brown as well that way it shows a different color and then his little hairs are kind of a dark, um, a, dark, a darker tan. So I'm gonna just go over them with brown. Give them little brown hair spikes. Here we go. His eyebrows and limbs are black. I'm just gonna go over those with my black crayon. Make them a little bit darker. And then we need to fill in these pupils. Just color in these circles with black. There we go. Just trace over his limbs with black. Here we go. And then in the book, his bow tie is like a light blue of course you can make the bow tie any color you want but I really like light blue so I'm gonna stick with that there we go and then we just need a little bit of pink for the tongue there we go we have our character of the cool bean. What you could even do if you wanted to was you could, is you could take a black marker and you could draw sunglasses over him like he has in one of the pictures. That's up to you though. Okay, so now I'm gonna move on to the bad seed. I'm gonna draw the bad seed over here. So I'm just gonna move my paper over a little bit so it's more centered. Okay. So the character of the bad seed is a little bit taller than them. He's a little bit longer. So we're mostly gonna be drawing an oval, but he has a, a little kind of like mini camel's hump at the top. So I'm actually gonna start with that. Gonna do a little, little bump, little bump, okay. And then from there, I'm going to do a nice long oval body. 
Here we go. It's a tiny bit lopsided, but that's okay. Not all um, sunflower seeds are perfect. So here we go. So once we have his body, let's do his eyes next. Nice big eyes right towards the bottom of his body. Like that. And then he's got a smile kind of right in between his eyes like that. And then something that he's got that's a lot more distinct than the other characters is he's got really big bushy eyebrows. So I'm actually going to erase the very tops of the eyes like that so that they don't aren't kind of seen through the eyebrows because the eyebrows are so bushy that they totally just like cover the tops top corners of their eyes he's got big kind of bad looking eyebrows so they're just like these little rectangles right on top of their eyes There we go, like that. And then he also needs some pupils. Draw little circles in the in the middle there. I didn't put mine right in the middle, it's okay. You can kind of mess with where you want it to be. Alright, then we'll draw his limbs. His little legs. His hands. Boop, boop. And boop, 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 boop. and then finally we need to draw the stripes that he has because he's a sunflower seed so he's got that black and white striped shell so we're gonna start at the very top and just lightly kind of bring your pencil down to the bottom and these these don't have to be straight because the actual seed would be a little bit rounded. So then we'll come back up, do another one there. Maybe another one here. These do not have to be um, even. Some of them are really thin, some of them are thicker. I'll do maybe like a thicker one here. It's kind of like a zebra stripes. Some of them are not going to be the same size, and that's totally fine. You'll be able to see these better once we color them in. Okay, I'm going to put this pencil down. I'll pick up my colored pencil. So I'm going to give him a good outline in black. So that's the main color of his shell. Okay, I make him a little bit darker. I'm really gonna color in those black eyebrows to make them nice and dark. It's kind of a big feature of his. Shows that he's not quite as friendly as the other characters. We know he's not totally evil, but definitely doesn't start out as being a good good friend. Give his smile, make that darker color in those pupils. They're nice and black. There we go. Now we got him. Now we're just going to trace over these lines and make them a little bit more obvious and then I'll color in in between them to make it black. Once again this is a really good time to pause the video and catch up while I color this in and then you can either pick it back up while 
to color with me or you can just kind of finish your tracing while I'm coloring. It's up to you. There we go, got everything outlined. Now I'm gonna color in. I'm not gonna push down super hard because he's not like very, very, very dark black um between the stripes he's almost like a faded so the other reason i don't want to push down really really hard with my um pencil is because if i make it too dark in between the things then i wouldn't be able to see his smile and his other features it would blend right in so we don't want that I really carefully color around these eyes. See, so yeah, I'm coloring to make sure the eyebrows stay darker. I want those black eyebrows to really pop. There we go, now these stripes are really coming through. Nice, now we can see all of the um, contrast between the black and white stripes really well. All right, I'm gonna just sharpen my black pencil just a tiny bit because definitely got a little dull after all that um, black seed coloring. So the final character that we're going to do is the final character that we're going to do is the good egg. Now he is mostly tan and speckled, but he does have these big, cute black glasses. So we definitely don't want to forget that. Okay. So I'm going to go to my third section of my paper over here. And for an egg shape, we just need to draw kind of an oval. It's a little bit thinner at the top, kind of like this guy. He's wider at the bottom and thinner at the top, but our egg isn't going to have that um, bump. So just do your best. I'm going to do kind of a light outline at first in case I don't like how it looks. Yeah, I want this side to be a little more even. Try that one again. Okay. 
So now I've got my egg outline here. And just like the other ones, his, his eyes are kind of lower in the body, not quite at the bottom, but definitely on the below the half point line. If we think that like right here, it's kind of halfway, the eyes are about here on the body. So also they're still pretty big. There we go. And then he has irises. So he's got blue irises and then he's got a pupil inside of that. So you're gonna have to draw double lines inside. Iris, which is the colored part of your eye. And then a pupil right inside that. Okay, once you have that drawn, let's do a little mouth in the middle there. Cute little smile. And the next thing that we can do is draw his glasses. So we've got a little connector. And then these are nice, big, round glasses. Definitely getting some good practice drawing circles in this one. There we go. And then for his limbs, we've got his little arms. I'm just drawing his arms kind of going out like that because he's such a friendly, sweet character. I feel like he would be extending his arms like in a, as a hug. <laughs> he seems like that type of guy to me. So now that we've got the outline drawn, we need to color in all of his eyes, add some color to the egg and maybe some speckles. He's got lots of like kind of freckles and speckles on his face. So the first thing I'm going to do is take my black and I'm going to really outline those glasses He's got good thick black glasses There we go. Now you can see him really well. And then I'm going to outline his legs, then outline his arms. There we go. Gonna make his smile just a little bit bigger there okay and then the next thing i want to do is i want to color in his pupils but what i'm gonna do is i'm actually gonna do that um after i color in the irises that way it doesn't mess with the color so his eye color in the book is blue so you're going to take this middle kind of smaller circle that you drew i'm going to shade in blue around it okay not really a huge deal if you end up coloring inside the center because we're going to color that black anyway but try to do your best take your time and make sure you're really only coloring that section it's a little bit hard to see the color super well on my video but you can see the colored pencil that I'm using and what color it is. Okay, so now I've got the pupils colored. I mean, I've got the irises colored, so now I'm gonna go back and now I'm going to color in the black pupils.
and we don't need to do anything to color in the eyes around it because this is all just supposed to be white anyway. All right, so now we can see his eyes a little bit better. Okay, now what I'm gonna do, like I told you before, I don't have a tan, so I'm gonna be kind of combining my yellow and my brown. I'm gonna use the brown to outline his body and to give him some freckles, and then I'm gonna kind of shade the whole body in with yellow and then really lightly go over it with tan. If you have a tan, just use your tan. The so brown is good for outlining though, because it gives you a nice clear um, boundary that you can color within. I like kind of having a darker border and boundary that way it shows me really clearly where I'm expected to color inside. Here we go. Now that his body is outlined, I'm going to go right ahead and start coloring it in with yellow. I don't want him to be um, the exact same color as the Cool Bean. The Cool Bean's kind of like a lighter, he's more of a beigey color, whereas the egg is I definitely say is more of a tan color. So I'm going to end up going back over him with a decent amount of brown after this. of yellow. So now I'm going to go back through with my brown. I bet it's even hard to kind of see the difference in color um, in the video right now the saturation isn't very high, but um, I'll definitely show you the final outcome picture at the end here. Okay, so now that I've got my kind of tan color in here, I'm gonna add some freckles in there. See, he's got speckles all over his eggshell body. So, I'm just gonna choose different spots and different sizes. You can make some darker than others. A lot of times the bigger ones aren't maybe as dark. And they're all just kind of kind of random. And all the same size. Okay, now that I've got his freckles done, I have one last step. Something that I've noticed with this character that the other two did not have is he has a little bit of like rosy, friendly, blushing cheeks. So right here, right around the bottom 
um, section of his glasses, I'm just gonna color in like little circles of pink to show that he's got a little bit of rosy cheeks. I think this is to kind of show that he's a little bit bashful and shy and sweet. Okay, and then our characters are finished. So what you could do is you could write the names of them at the top. Um, we've got Bad seed. We've got cool bean, and then we've got. the good egg there we go thanks for tuning in with me guys